Ah, damn, switching this over to a to a solid state drive has helped a ton. Okay, let's make some purified water. Not that we just need it immediately, or for a while. Yeah, it looks like we're still um messed up here for at least a little while. Well, I might as well make a bunch of mushroom medleys. It's gonna cost me oil, but I got plenty of it. I'm just gonna go with this. I mean, realistically, the only thing that's currently broken is the fact that I've got refreshing beverage over the, um... Over the, uh, other thing. Wow, that's gonna make this kind of ridiculous, though. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I'll just have to figure out how to get rid of it properly. Let's get rid of that. Let's see. Yeah, looks like we still have the, the weird lag issue. That sucks. Alright, let's drop off 16 mushroom medleys, I think. And then let's drop off all the food paste, crispy squirrel bits. I'll get rid of the the rest of these things. Okay, there we go. What else do we have in, in my inventory that actually weighs anything that I can get rid of? Okay, so we've got the combat rifle, we got the stun grenades, the toxic cocktails. Ah! Those. I'm gonna probably drop down to like seven bandages. That should be good enough. And I think we're good. Okay, cool. Uh. Crap. So I was just. Oh, I was up here just milling about hoping I could find. Uh. Where I'm looking for. Uh. Yeah. Well, we'll do it. I'll clean it out. Mainly just because I want to have. Overworld entrances to everything. Okay, come on. Okay, next one. There we go. Mild amounts of radiation. I'll take it. I was not exactly expecting uh, ghouls so early on uh, in the afternoon. Morning? Whatever, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, it's... Let's just let's just live. Let's just let's just keep going. I'm not entirely sure how how this is all going to pan out. A rib cage and a spine. That's horrifying. Uh, I don't know what's going to respawn around here. We're obviously running into a couple of mod issues, but it's not as bad as it was. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. My CPU is maxed out. Okay, for some reason, Windows Defender decided to use all of my CPU. I've since fixed that. Hopefully that'll solve some problems. It has not solved that for whatever reason. I don't know why. I was hoping that putting this on a on a solid state drive would actually like solve my um my weird stuttery lag issue, but still hasn't. I got to figure that out. It's really frustrating, honestly. Honestly, this game really is not optimized well. Like I I enjoy Fallout for what it is now that I've messed with it horribly, and I'm sure if I got rid of every single mod, this game might actually function well. It's just... It's also just really boring to do that. Like, I don't enjoy regular Fallout at all. It's not It's not my cup of tea. It's just kind of lifeless. They did a good job, like, making a good basis for mods. If anything, I'd actually say I'd love to see them publish just an engine and assets and be like, Good luck. Have fun. Do what you want. Oh, there's survivors over there. This time around. Okay. How many, though? There's two. Three? Three survivors, give or take, and they're all going in there for some reason. Okay, then. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, I've broken it worse. Oh, my in my interface got reset here. All right, that's different. Uh, is it under display? Yeah, I think it's under display. All right, let's reset this back to what it was. There we go. Oh. Oh. Huh. There's a difference between Pip-Boy and Interface. I think I already knew that. I just wasn't paying attention. Let's do this, and I'll drop the opacity just a little bit. There we go. 
This looks nice. Right, so we've got a couple of survivors out here. I got my sledgehammer. Let's rock and roll. Did these guys reset their appearances? I have no idea. There's one. I'm gonna take All right. Boo. There's one more in here. Yep, there they are. With the baton. Oh, that's a grenade. There we go. This is really cinematic. I'm a little bit worried about that grenade that just went off. Is that it? Are we done? I think we're done. Okay. Impact grenade. That's a new one. Alliance volunteers. Well, I am just here for the bottles. Did the junk randomly respawn? It did! Huh. Oh, by reinstalling... Maybe? Maybe because I reinstalled, um... Uh, Frost. It actually resets some of the, uh... It's reset some of these assets. Interesting. Well, I feel some amounts of guilt for this, but I did have to fight my way in, so I'm gonna call it close enough. Confused about why the fact that there was a grenade back here of all places, but you know what? Whatever. Okay, yeah, so it looks like this this ungodly weird pause thing that keeps happening to me. I don't have a solution for that. If any of you guys do, please, please tell me. Like, I'm not maxing out any of my uh, statistics here, but it's happening anyway. And I'm getting a little sick of it. For obvious reasons, anyway. Uh, so we got that mess up there. I don't see any enemies around here. Yeah, we've got a we got a lot we haven't seen inside this north end of Boston. Honestly, I kind of want to finish it off fast, if that's even possible. Right, so that's where we fought the bear. Admittedly, fought is a bit of a strong word. Admittedly, it's a. Uh, Dead ghoul. Huh. Maybe I came through there at some point. I'm not entirely sure. At least the area is staying pretty clear. Yeah, it's like we'll always remain. Ooh, Pikmin's calling card. Let's see, what else does he have? Rustic backpack. Don't know if it's actually that useful. But I'll pick it up. So it looks like Pikmin, some kind of assassin type character. Well, hey. Oh, science scribe's armor. So it looks like we're having a little bit of crossover information. Or is that it? Well, this is Good Neighbor looking at it now. I think? Looks like good neighbor to me. Feels good neighbory. Oh, Scully Square expert. Interesting. So, we found Scully Square, finally. It's right here. Unfortunately, I should have. I really should have. Uh, gotten that one more, one more point in locksmith. <sighs> Won't be able to pick this. But that's why we're having trouble. Okay, well, given the situation, let's see if I can get into this big tower building. There might be some goodies in here. There were a bunch of dudes. The problem is... Was that there last time? Did I I have no idea. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's 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 try and clear out this big building. I'm I'm just going to I'm going to going to just take my axe murder murder and ways back in until we can get one more level then we unlock that door. Then we clear out Scully Square from the outside, not the inside. I guess. This is a mess. Oh, hey. Toxic cocktail. Luckily, we're kind of loaded with goodies. 
So this should make it a hell of a lot easier. Like, I, I feel like the weird lag has to do with uh, loading, but I don't know. Alright, so this time we give that a wide berth. And we start by sneaking in. Let's see if this actually let's let's see if this actually uh, pans out the way I want it to, or if everything just goes wrong. Well, bad news bears first and foremost. We have a turret up there. Let's try this. I shoot at it. I have zero chance to hit. Is it not dead yet? Very strange. Nah, it's not. Not a restricted area in the slightest. Yeah, so it does look like they give me a warning. Ooh, rogue army helmet. Not bad. I don't think I'm wearing a hat anyway. I'll throw it on for the time being. Okay, rogue. I do have a bowler hat too, though. Eh. Rogue army helmet. Bowler hat. Bowler hat. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love my bloody stick. So I don't see anybody else around here. I've never been in this building before. It's a little bit interesting. Usually with these, it's buildings that I've kind of seen before. And kind of vaguely know about. We need to raid a hospital at some point. Which sounds super screwed up. But honestly, it's not. Fuck. Okay. We got one of them covered in tin cans now. Yes, get this. We have you. Idly hodly, neighborino. It's like they don't even know I'm here. I I mean I have been investing in stealth, so that's been helpful. Alright. Ooh, nah. It's a night vision pipe sniper rifle, though. It's a problem. I mean, I could use the night vision mod if I can maybe take it off. I'm not entirely sure if it would, it if it would transfer over. It's also one of those where it probably doesn't matter too much. Okay. So we've got this now. Door unlocked, novice. Yeah, we haven't found bobby pins in a while. That's a little disconcerting. We kind of need more. There are a bunch in the underground. Maybe, maybe they're just less common. Uh, once you once you get up above, and considering I have been spending a significant amount of my time uh, lurking around here, I, don't know, I really don't know what this lag is. I guess I'll try uh, verifying my cash. Though I highly doubt that's going to change much. Hasn't in ages past. Ooh. Is this it's just dirty water. It is faster than filling it myself though. Wait, hold on. It's yeah, it's it's faster than pumping, but I actually have to do stuff, which I'm not exactly enthused about. Alright, that didn't work. <laughs> wow, that's fucked up. Alright, we got friends. They ain't saying shit, though. But we do have friends. Like, it's weird, they're quiet. Usually they have, like, kind of prepackaged lines. They get tossed. This time, not so much so. It doesn't seem like they're coming my way. Damn it. Wearing blue jeans, and I think they. Kill. 
Okay. Come on. Next one. Next one. Damn it. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I was supposed to hit both, but it clearly didn't pan out that direction, which kind of sucks. All right, whatever. How far back am I? Oh, I'm immediately after murdering this guy. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, so I'll have to be more careful coming through here. So let's not hit the can chimes. Let's go back to sneaking. Get these. My fault for not doing this enough, but that's okay. Yellow! Well, not a whole lot of games where you get to double murder everybody you come across. I really am a monster. Oh, that's okay. Like, I try and talk to this, uh, talk to people about this playthrough, and I'm like, oh yeah, and y you know, it's kind of like the, the standard, uh, what is it? I don't know. You, like, you know, when you're trying to, like, discuss what you've done in a game with friends and stuff. Except for whenever I, like, talk about this game, I usually just get, like, blank stares or, like, kind of, kind of a horrified, like, mouth open, like, why would you do this? I guess it takes a special kind of somebody to play a game where you really are just a serial axe murderer in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. That's it. I really need to play some of the other, some of the other, like, famous post-apocalyptic simulators. Uh, specifically Metro 20 2033 sounds like it might actually be kind of fun. It might also just be a pain in the butt. I don't know. I never know. Okay, so let's try this again. We've pretty much already looted most of this stuff, didn't we? Nah. The Nuka-Cola machine is unlooted. I might also clear out... Uh, I, let's very intentionally clear out the bottom here. Because I can, at the very least, go through here. I don't know what we got around here. Probably a good idea. Can't get in there. So these protectrons are. So they can hear me rifling around. But they're directly above me. Okay, what's this? Yeah, so we need a mass fusion ID card to be able to do anything with this. Okay. I mean, honestly, that makes sense. Huh. We got a fake-ass little bridge there. Or, not fake-ass, a uh, janky-ass little bridge going across there. Neat. Okay. So... Does he actually know where I am? Oh. That's what shot. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. Did we actually get shot there? We might have. Looks like everybody's pissed at me now. They seem to know where I am. Well, that sucks. For them. Hi. Okay. Oh, I look horrifying. Alright, uh, I'm gonna pop a bandage. We haven't taken that many hits, but I know I'm gonna take more. Okay, there is somebody around this corner like seconds ago. Was there not? There was the person with the board. They might not be brave enough to come across here. Well, at least we got this guy down. Oh. Interesting. App. Like leg spike is killing me. Okay. So we've got two kind of nearby. I just don't know how nearby. My bandage really does not heal nearly as much as I need it to. Oh, you know what? It's flat amount as opposed to any kind of percentage. Maybe medic helps. Okay. So for starters, we 
with the very unfortunate element of knowing that one of these guys had a missile launcher. We have the fortunate way of knowing he's j he just died. Let's hope there's nobody else. That guy's randomly in Tipos, and the other person seems to be wigging out. Well, all right. There he is. You know, we haven't fought a guy legitimately in a while. Close enough. I think it was actually a woman. Oh, well. All right, so there... The dude fell down... Yeah, we'll come back for him later. I'm sure this place doesn't go up too high, but it might. We actually don't really know. Okay, so there's just a random dude milling about here. Fuck, 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 fuck. I could've used those grenades. Alright, so this is the dude with the missile launcher. Yeah, there he is. Kinda got really lucky with that shot. It's really hard to shoot. In, uh, as, as I currently am. Though it actually does kinda make it into an interesting game. Uh, it's maybe even more reliable because I know it's drifting, so I just time my shots as opposed to trying to like really line it up here. Kind of makes sense. Oh, I'm hungry. I guess that makes sense. Uh, is there anything else? The answer looks like a grand total of nope. This place kind of sucks for resources and people. Oh, we got a schematic for something or other. I'd look at it, but I was not paying attention. Probably should have been. Yarn, and not, not great on the resource side of things. That looks like there are more people here. I could try and dick shot him. Yeah, so it looks like they're using uh the the template crazy people from uh, the hallucinogen and hallucinogen. Okay, that sucked. There were two of them stacked up on on top of each other, and we were locked into the the vats animations. That's the one thing I don't like about vats. How far to? Oh wow. Okay, so we dick shot this dude, or not? We could go with a really fun option. Let's go with a really fun option. That guy's probably going to return to his post, yes? I don't know if he's going to. But this is the guy that killed me last time. Let's see if I can snipe him from across the way. I got a landmine protecting my flank, but... We might be, uh... Might be out of luck. I don't know. Okay, well, we got one of them. At the very least. We might have kind of gotten both. Okay, yeah. So he's severely injured. We killed the other guy. All we need to do is get lure him just a little bit in. There's one more guy also running around there. Uh, you know what? We're thirsty. We're hungry, right? Let's drink, uh, let's drink a little bit of purified water. That'll solve some problems. Oh, yeah, there's the other guy. I got close. Why can he dive through windows and stuff and I can't? That is unfortunate. We're getting a lot of refreshing beverages here, though. That is a little bit on the broken side for what we're doing here. I really do need to, to fix this mod. Got to figure out what the conflict is. Might be Valdesils or something. Oh, well. Well... Okay, so we've got one more guy running around downstairs, but I honestly don't even know how to get to him. Oh. Well... 
That was a nice freeze frame. Right before uh, turning this guy into bloody chunks. I guess that was it. Huh. Weird. Alright. Thought it was going to be a different guy somewhere else. No? It might have been him, actually. He might have been able to patrol here. The, the ground just flashed out on me, so that's that's always that's always worrying. It's always incredibly worrying. I, I don't know. I don't like it when uh, the world starts like freaking out a little bit. All right, what else we got around here? Like we're still finding just kind of the most basic of junk, uh, which I mean to be fair, don't really need a whole heck of a lot of junk here. Like I've, I'm actually kind of set for survival. If I wanted to, I could probably just like bum out in the um, in uh. I, I could probably just bum out in, uh, Hangman's Alley for as long as I want. I just don't want to. They're, they're, I mean, okay, so, like, the thing about these challenges is, like, Neverleaf Sanctuary was kind of a fun intellectual challenge. But, like, as far as, like, doing stuff goes, if it wasn't, like, an intellectual challenge, it would have been boring as hell. It was still pretty boring. Uh, just to be like, wait, waiting game, uh, shit, what do I do now? It was kind of just like a forever, I, not quite knowing how to progress with anything. Realistically, I don't mind that. I actually had a lot of fun playing it. But there was that, like, baseline level of, I wish something would happen here. Like, raiding. Which is why, uh, probably after this series I'll be doing, um, after this series, I'll, I'll probably be doing some kind of refer, uh, return to, like, the Never Leaves situation. And I'll wipe some more mods or get some more mo mods or just start start over. Reinstall them from the, from the get-go. Alright, looks like we got some people hanging out in here. I just don't know who. Doesn't look like anybody over in this direction. But I think there's somebody around this corner. Somebody's. Oh shit, he didn't die. This guy is unflappable. He must have just sprinted past the landmine. Glad I switched back to the sledgehammer for that. That would have been... This would have been rough. Ooh, radium rifle. That sounds scary, actually. It is scary. I actually do have enough bullets to use it reliably. I don't want to, but I could. Okay, so maybe this is... I guess I could have just tossed a grenade in there. In retrospect. It might have been a better idea. Oh, well. Let's just keep going. I, I'm kind of floored this place does keep going. I was kind of expecting us to be done with it already, but looks like we're here doing things. Not getting really a whole lot of goodies, but I've already complained about that like several times now, so let's find something new, new to complain about. I don't see anybody else around here either. Cigarettes. This guy is missing his legs. Hmm. We're supposed to get across somewhere here. Maybe I have to go up. Or jump? Definitely don't go across that. It's worth a shot. I don't see or hear anybody. I can try and, like, make a bridge. Though I don't think camping works in... Oh, never mind. Found it. We just gotta go up here. Was this a plot-related area in the main game? I don't know. It, it almost feels like it should be with the way the music is going. It keeps going up. Do you have anybody in here? Like, obviously, this place is a goddamn mess. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, whatever. Let's let's just keep going. Get some cigarettes. I was expecting this place to be, like, lined with dudes, but it looks like they're pretty sparse. So this might almost be more of a, uh, a little area filled with goodies. Though we do have that area directly above us with, um, that area directly above us with the, like, last floor. Mm, Betting there's something, there's something creepy up there. <laughs> Watch it be a Deathclaw. That would be... 
Oh my god. Okay. This fucking sucks. Is he still following me? Wait, what? Okay. Bad time for a leg spike. He's growling at me. He's got power armor. Alright, what do we have that can even hurt this guy? Well, I do have a combat rifle. And some grenades. What do we have? Frag grenades? He growled at me. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, this is worrisome. Okay. This is incredibly worrisome. What the fuck is this mess? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this as I am. Alright. Hit him a bunch. Ah, uh, okay. So he is beatable, but he is a slugfest and a half. Uh, for starters, I gotta get him by surprise. Knew there was gonna be a boss fight in here. Okay. So let's loot the camera again, cigarette carton. I mean, it's actually potentially very easy to do this. Okay, there's that. Explosives. Frag grenade. All you gotta do is death claw them. Shame about the power armor. Would have been kinda nice to get my hands on the the stuff. Well, what does he have on him? He has a laser pistol. Does a fair amount of damage, but I'm not going to be able to get a whole lot of power cells here. Well. Okay, there we go. Doesn't look like any of these are equipped anymore. Yeah, sadly, I can't take his power armor directly from him. Which is kind of the unfortunate part. I'd love to actually grab the, uh, the bits. But, no dice. I am the cheese master. By the way, ooh, mini nuke. Ace. Some goodies. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I have weightless everything. Combat shotgun. Not really that useful. Alright, mass fusion balcony. Is there a way to get this? Oh, we need the uh, ID card to get all the way up. I'm not... Oh, fuck. Thank you, Leg Spike, for continuing my momentum. Anyway, I'm gonna fly back up here. Don't don't judge me. It's not my fault I fell down. Okay. I might still be able to continue going up. Maybe. Finding a weirdly suspect. So what's this? Going up. Going down. Damn it. Well, let's see where this drops us. I can't imagine it's going to be anywhere particularly useful, but you never know. Oh. Brings us all the way back to the lobby. And we might as well go all the way back up to the top for the time being. Going down. Wait, what? Uh. Okay, yeah, here we are again. It looks like what might happen here, or what was supposed to happen here, is you're not supposed to be able to scale this, but maybe it's not impossible. Well, I mean, obviously, we just proved it's not impossible. Um, 
But maybe I can keep scaling it. Let's go back the other way. There might be there might be some goodies over there too. Uh, at the very least, we've kind of recouped our losses. We don't need frag mines that much. And uh Can I Okay, I can. It's a wrench. Well, I don't know what I expected, but it was a little bit more than that. Alright, I guess we can go out to the the mass fusion balcony. It's probably not gonna be anything good, but you never know. Yeah, I'm 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 in this like weird stressed out stage of just like whenever I like invade one of these buildings. Uh, whenever I play any kind of game where I'm like, I'm stealthy, I get kind of breathy and quiet, and like, I pause between, uh, between words. I mean, sometimes because I have like, weird hiccups or whatever, uh, but sometimes I'm just like, legitimately, st like, st kind of stressed out here, fuck. I'll make this quick. Real quick, it doesn't look like there's anything up, up here. Well, that was, that was a wash. Alright, so I guess we've cleared out the mass fusion building. Unfortunately, it didn't net us the level we needed, so I'm going to have to find a new place to to go after. Do we... Do we figure out where the mass fusion ID is? Because I was kind of expecting it to be on that dude. But it wasn't. I'm just curious. Is there a way to go up further? Because... If it's not in here... I'm glad we came back. That was, those were some goodies. Scalpel. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be in here. That's unfortunate. Because, yeah, I want to I wanna see what's upstairs. But I don't know how we're going to do it. Wow, this place is huge. There's also a very real possibility that we just can't get up no matter what. That could also happen. Well, I'm gonna look it up. Okay. Oh. Well, that... Okay. That's different. I should probably actually go out of my way for these. Seeing as they do exist. Anyway. Here's the spoils. I was wondering I was wondering if we were going to find any of those on this playthrough. Anyway, uh now that we've got that, uh apparently this is a plot related area. Uh for main fallout. So, what I'm going to do is just cheat my way up here and see if if there's even anybody programmed to be inside. Judging by everything, the answer is a very decided no. Yeah, maybe I played this level? Probably didn't. I'm just gonna look around. It's kinda interesting being up here. Yeah, so apparently people are saying, uh, the, the discussion for this area was, well, you can wait for the plot stuff, or you can, um... Uh, you can wait for plot stuff. Or you can... Oh. Shh, nobody saw that. You can wait for plot stuff uh, to get in here, or you can take a jump, jump jet up, and I'm like... I can do neither of those. But that's okay, this place gets creepier and creepier as you go up. I feel like this would be a great place to introduce, like... Zombie enemies or something. It's awesome. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to get up here. If you're supposed to get up here. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Well, that's okay. I mean... Yeah, let's just go back down. Whatever, whatever this is supposed to lead me to, it definitely, definitely isn't up here. And we got that random cheaty ass, uh, steamer trunk. Which, I have no real qualms about grabbing, there's, like, nothing in there. Just want to look around in here a bit. Yeah, there's nothing. It's like a baseball glove and some other stuff. Doors that don't open. Like, it feels like this area is partially developed, but... Don't think I can pick this. 
Never got the, uh, the light of day here. Oh, this is where we are. Yeah, there's like a chem station, there's some other things. I'm not gonna grab any more resources. Apparently there's like a magazine in here. That I wouldn't be able to get normally anyway. It's part of what I'm looking for. I was like, eh, might as well grab it while I'm here. It's not like I'm coming back. It's weird, though. It, it feels like there's, uh, this, you're not supposed to be here. But there is, like, there's stuff. As though you are. And that's, that's the weird annoying part. And radiation. Oh, from the freaking dumb generator, of course. Okay, whatever. We're done with this place. Let's go all the way back down. I wanted to find that, that magazine while we were here, but no dice. Anyway, you had nothing. You also have nothing. Alright, looks like we're good. I can be done now. <sighs> Sorry for the small amounts of cheating. I just sometimes, sometimes you gotta give in to the curiosity, you know? Yeah, you know. <laughs>